So what's going on tonight? Uh, we are shining a light on the Homestead Detention Center, trying to bring attention to the fact that in our backyard, uh, we are holding hostage and imprisoning children who have committed no crime, but come to this country with family members, uh, you know, seeking asylum. And they are separated from, you know, their aunts, their uncles, grandparents, brothers, sisters, because they're not direct families, and house them in this lovely uh, concentration camp and make top dollar off of them uh, instead of having them in homes with their families. So we're here to shine a light, literally. We will be projecting some images as an act of creative resistance. Artists have always, you know, led, have been on the forefront of social change. Artists have always created the images of the resistance. Artists are powerful and threatening. I mean, that is why They've come after them and they've banned their work. There's always been artists dealing with political art, but there is a, a really strong resurgence of artists, musicians, filmmakers, writers that are using their creativity to bring these issues to the forefront and to what we can. Behind us, there's um, like a field. I'm gonna see if I can, you can see the tents and then in front of the tents, between the, the fence and the tents is a big old field. The kids come out here in shifts throughout the day. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, the girls get brought out first thing in the morning. There are less girls than boys. Uh, this specific spot is where the 13 to 16 year olds are kept. Uh, so the girls come out early morning and then throughout the day, they bring out batches of like 50 boys at a time for about half hour, 45 minutes for their outside recreation time. And, uh, we are able to stand on ladders and step tools and engage with them and hold signs telling them that they're not alone, that we're here for them, that we're fighting for them. And they are very enthusiastic in um, interacting with us. At this point, you know, we've seen the change of the ones who, you know, come out into the yard and actually scan the horizon to see if we're still here. I mean, these, these places are all over the country. Um, this is the only one that is on federal land but I have visited many of them to go do similar actions and it's very hard to see the kids. This is one of the few places where you can actually visually engage with them and it, it changes you. It 920 Bougainvillea Boulevard. Boulevard. It's uh, right up the, the Florida Turnpike. It's really easy to get here. You can come any day and see for yourself what's going on in your own backyard. 